Darwin TV News attended Hidden Valley Racetrack in preparations for the 2017 Crown Bet Triple Crown Supercar Race. The 2007 Supercar Champion and Racing Legend Garth Tander was joined by the Minister for Tourism and Culture, Lauren Moss, and NT Major Events General Manager, Andrew Hopper, to discuss the upcoming event. Um, Garth, uh, this is your 20th year back. Uh, uh, we welcome you back to Darwin. We're all looking forward to you. New team, new car, new ride, um, new outlook. Uh, how's it been settling at Gary Rogers Motorsport? Uh, yeah, look, uh, this year's going really well. As you said, change of team for me from Holden Racing Team back to Gary Rogers Motorsport, the team that I started in my V8 supercar career. I had my first ever Darwin race here in 98 with Gary Rogers Motorsport. So uh, our year's going pretty well, currently sixth in the championship and uh, looking forward to coming to Darwin uh, for the next race in a couple of weeks' time. Hopefully we can get our first win of the year here in Darwin and, and even maybe the first driver to win the, the Triple Crown. No one's done that over the 19 years so far, so it'd be nice to do that. As only one of two drivers have been here for all 20 events, it'll be. It'd be cool to get the Triple Crown this time around. How important is uh, this race in the context of your season, a couple of hundred points away from that kind of top five position? Uh, look, every race is important. Um, but some races are more special than others, and um, you know, coming to Darwin is one of those special events. Everyone sort of asks, what's it like coming to Darwin? And, and for us, it's a fantastic event. It's one of the real highlights of the year because um, the whole town gets behind the race. Um, you know, there's a great atmosphere here. It's really family friendly. I've brought my family up here a couple of times, and um, you know, it's a special one to win uh, because there is so much support here in town. So, um, yeah, all the points are equal over all the weekends, but you certainly enjoy some more than others. So, if we have a win here on on Sunday afternoon we might have a beer or two on Sunday night. Uh, since you came here in 98, I mean it was just a paddock, we were here in 98 and we saw the original race. Um, what have you noticed uh, has been the evolution of the circuit? Oh, I mean as we stand here today, you wouldn't recognise the place if you had a photo of today and a photo of 98. Just the the level of infrastructure that's gone in here over the over the course of the 20 years and the constant improvements. Every year we come back here, there's more improvements. And you know, you look at the pit lane facility. Um, so the infrastructure for the teams has improved immensely. But importantly, the infrastructure for the fans is getting better and better every year. There's shade everywhere now, plenty of grassed areas, um, really family friendly areas uh, all the way around the, the precinct. So um, you know, every year there's improvements. Um, um, the fact that there's public transport to and from the event makes it really easy to get in and out. So, um, yeah, look, it just every year it gets better and better. Uh, yeah, look, the, the layout of the circuit itself is is unique. Very, very long front straight, nearly or just over a kilometre long, very, very heavy braking. It's the second heaviest braking zone of the year after the end of Conrod Strait at Bathurst. So, um, yeah, really high top speed, but really challenging layout out the back of the circuit as well. So, uh, very unique, uh, very, very difficult to get right. Uh, and I guess that's why no one's won the Triple Crown here, because it is such a challenge to get right. What's the difference in the preparation for um, your last race meeting at, um, down in, in, South, in uh, New South Wales as it's coming to Darwin? Uh, well, we don't have to bring the wet weather tyres when we come to Darwin, that's for sure, because the weather up here is fantastic. I think I pre-record the weather for a month this time of the year up here. Um, so, yeah, look, uh, obviously the heat, probably the biggest thing for us as drivers. It's quite a bit warmer. The last race where we raced at Winton in Victoria, it was 10 degrees maximum on Sunday. I think it'll be a bit warmer than here when we come back in three weeks' time, but it's, um, yeah, the heat. So a lot of hydration, a lot of drinking water, a lot of preparation from that aspect to make sure that we can get through the 200k, especially on Sunday, like we're in the car for just over an hour and a half. It's usually around 70 degrees Celsius in the cabin for that period of time, so we need to make sure we're ready for that. Uh, Minister, and to you, uh, Minister, what's the commitment from the Northern Territory Government to the future of this magic event? Look, we, um, I have uh, worked previously at the V8 Supercars. And I know how important this event is um, for the, the top end and for the Territory. Um, we have a uh, multi-year contract in with uh, the V8 Supercars and look forward to building this event um, bigger and better every year. This is the 20th year, we understand how big this is for um, local motorsports lover, lovers um, and we are continuing to invest in uh, motorsports infrastructure right across the Northern Territory to really make sure that we're developing that talent and giving Territorians the opportunity to come out and enjoy uh, top-notch events. Uh, just one last question uh, to you, GT. Um, you're getting a chance to enjoy some of our magic tourist attractions, swim with the crocodiles, all that sort of thing? 
Yeah, well, when we go to most races, the only places you see is the airport, the hotel and the racetrack. But when you come to Darwin, there's so much to do up here that you generally take a few few side trips in. So uh, I've done a lot of deep sea fishing up here, out on the reefs, and uh, I've done the Darwin, uh, the croc tank in the middle of town. And um, even this afternoon, we're going out on the, on the harbour and having a look around um, at, at Darwin from a different angle out on the harbour. So that'll be really cool, really interesting. Looking forward to that. So, um, yeah, it's pretty easy to go out and take in the sights when you're enjoying this sort of weather. Andrew, um, uh, it's been a great, uh, a great event that you guys do here in Darwin for the Major Events Corporation and Tourism. Um, what, uh, what are your impressions of this year leading up to it? Oh, I think this year we're, we're in a better position than we've ever been uh, and we've got some new, new elements that we're including, you know, one of which is grandstand seating uh, under shade. So that's a really big improvement here at, at the Valley. A lot of people have asked for that um, over the last couple of years in our post-event survey so it's nice to be able to put in uh, nearly 400 seats and uh, hopefully people see that they're in a great vantage spot up near Shenanigans Hill and uh, they can come and watch the races there in comfort so we're looking forward to seeing how people embrace those. Um, what are the early indications in terms of people getting behind this event and, and signing up and the fans getting along here? Yeah look one of the beautiful things about, uh, about the Territory is you can get your tickets relatively late for this event so at this stage we're on track very similar to previous years um, but we won't know for certain until the final week of the event that's when it, everyone gets very very excited once the drivers get into town uh, we see lots of colour and movement so we're expecting a big year and I think also with stadium trucks uh, racing here for the first time they are a real crowd pleaser obviously Garth and what those guys do is amazing but the stadium trucks to see them jump in the air uh, it's quite frightening I usually shut my eyes I'm a bit of a scaredy cat but uh, it'll be great it'll be really good for the event so we're all looking forward to that as well. Uh, we're having the usual event where everybody can come along and meet the drivers at, uh, in the heart of Darwin on the Thursday before? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Thursday lunchtime, Raintree Park, so the transporter convoy will come through. Uh, all the drivers will be there signing. Uh, they can then also uh, go down Thursday night to Mindle Beach Markets. Great event in the Territory, the markets, and people can go down there and meet the drivers. I know last year the drivers loved that. They all, uh, they all hung around and had a luxer and, uh, and met, met the locals and, and visitors alike. So it's a really great community feel down there, and the drivers really embrace it. So we're excited about that too. And Andrew, anyone who wants to come can, can buy a hot uh, pass, of course. Absolutely, the hot passes, they remain $90, uh, they're available through Australia Post outlets, they're also available online, so go to the website, all the information's there and uh, again, uh, buy early, we'd love to know you're coming, just means we can put a little bit more water on ice and uh, be ready for you. What, what, what will be sort of the pass mark um, in terms of crowd numbers across the weekend? Oh look, we've been very consistent over the last decade at around about that 40,000 mark, so we'll be looking to see that number again, but of course we're always hoping for more people and the event's really well supported locally. We also get a lot of visitors, as the, as the Minister alluded to earlier, so um, signs are good. We've just got to now wait and see what happens in these last few weeks. Um, concert Saturday night, uh, big show this year. Who's the headlines? Oh, Hilltop Hoods. Um, they, they haven't been back to Darwin in two years. Uh, Everyone said they'd been here too often, but of course, then they didn't come and everyone said, where are they? So uh, we brought them back and, uh, and Hilltop Hoods on the Saturday night with Illy, um, that'll be a big show and, and really it's about a big party. But Sunday, if you've got a dress up costume and you think you look amazing in it, you should wear it to here because Sunday's the big dress up party. So we've got uh, Russell Morris, Hot Dub Time Machine Sunday night as well. So it's, it's a big weekend of having good fun. Um, families always welcome, great show for families. The kids area, lots of shade. Um, plenty of space, so get on down and, uh, and enjoy the action. This year's supercar race promises to be bigger than ever as Darwin celebrates 20 years of the supercars. So make sure you get your backside trackside from the 16th to the 18th of June for the 2017 Crown Bet Triple Crown Supercar Race.